when countries have different factor endowments, how do the factor prices vary? I'll explain this with an example. Suppose that there are two countries, the US and Mexico. Now there are two factors of production, labor and capital. There is a certain amount of labor in the United States and a certain amount of capital. Similarly, there is a certain amount of labor in Mexico and a certain amount of capital. Now, let's say that these images represent the total volume of labor and capital in the two countries. Now, based on the size of these images, where do you think capital is relatively abundant and where do you think labor is relatively abundant? Hmm, let's see. It seems that there is more capital per worker in the United States than there is capital per worker in Mexico. And so by definition, the United States is a capital abundant country. Similarly, you can explain to yourself that there is more labor per unit of capital in Mexico than there is labor per unit of capital in the United States. And so by definition, Mexico is the labor abundant country. Now this is not a coincidence. Usually developed countries or industrialized countries such as the United States and countries of Western Europe are relatively capital abundant and developing countries of Asia, Africa and Latin America tend to be labor abundant. Now the question is how are factor prices that are wages for labor and real interest payments for capital going to be different in the two countries. In deciding that, we should keep the following economic rule of thumb in mind. When there is no international trade, a factor such as labor or capital has higher returns in the country where it is relatively scarce. Recall from Econ 101 that the market rewards scarcity. When something is scarce in relation to how much it is demanded, then it fetches a higher price. That's the reason why diamonds, for example, fetch a higher price than sand. Diamonds are scarce while sand is abundant. Similarly, a factor of production has lower returns in the country where it is relatively abundant. When you have a lot of something, then it's not very handsomely rewarded. So let's take labor. In which of the two countries is labor going to be more handsomely rewarded? Where are wages going to be higher? Now, wages would be higher where labor is relatively scarce. Where is labor relatively scarce? In the US or in Mexico? Now you might wonder, what do you mean relatively scarce? Well, relatively scarce means scarce in relation to the amount of capital that is available. And as you can see, that labor is scarce in relation to the capital that is available in the United States. No wonder, because the US is a capital abundant country, and so it's a labor scarce country. On the other hand, in Mexico, labor is relatively abundant in relation to capital. Therefore, wages in Mexico might not be very high. Yes, wages in the US will be higher than wages in Mexico. And this is what we usually see. In industrialized countries, which are also capital abundant, such as the US and the countries of Western Europe and Japan, we find that wages are higher than in developing countries, which tend to be labor abundant, countries in Asia, Africa, and Latin America. Now what about capital? Where are returns to capital, that is real interest payments, going to be higher? In Mexico or in the US? To answer that, we got to know where is capital more, more scarce, relatively scarce, in Mexico or in the US?
you can see from here that capital is relatively scarce in relation to labor in Mexico than it is in the United States. In the United States, capital is relatively abundant. So, it won't be a surprise to say that the payments to capital will be higher in Mexico than in the United States. So we can say that the rental payments in the US, I'm sorry, the real interest rate in the US, which is denoted by an R, is less in US than in Mexico. So in sum, labor is going to be getting more payments in United States where it is relatively scarce and capital is going to be getting more payments in Mexico where it is relatively scarce. The abundant factor okay, doesn't make a lot of money. So in the US capital doesn't get a lot of payment and in Mexico labor doesn't get a lot of payment comparison to the other country.